Yes. All right, Kelly, if I were to say this is a setting the bar story, how would you describe it? I would describe that as what not to do or yep. a situation we hope you it doesn't happen to you. All right, so honestly, Isaiah had already probably been in his own setting the bar story because he was just getting out of prison. Okay, so we made some bad choices. Yeah, already. yeah, but he's already paid for his choices, and he's on the, the straight and narrow now, we think. Okay. So if you can manage to make it through the day without immediately stealing 10 Corvettes after you've been released from prison, you're doing okay. What in the world? <laughs> help me help you, So dude. I- Isaiah was uh, released um, from prison, right? What would do we do we know what he was in there for to begin with? Was it like tied to this like next behavior? Well, uh, no, I don't I don't know why he was in there okay. before. All right. So anyways, he was arrested after he stole a semi truck from a truck stop in Arizona. So oh, the okay. semi was high, was hauling 10 Corvettes. Was, he was just planning to steal one truck. But bonus we got a bunch of Corvettes on it. Yeah, bonus. I have one point two five million dollars worth of cars Whoa. on it. So obviously, Listen, you need training to to drive that kind of a vehicle as well. Well, yeah, I'm police. He probably wasn't trained. Weren't uh, they, they didn't take him long to figure out where he was. Well, yeah, that's a that's a vehicle that you could probably spot. Right, easily. right. So when they were like, "Hey, why do you steal the semi with?" Eight or ten Corvettes on it. He was like, "Well, has nothing to do with the Corvettes. I'm not a Corvette buff. Oh. I I just needed to ride home." Then call a friend, call a family member, call an Uber. Yep. Something. Well, maybe he just wasn't thinking straight. He just had he had the warm sun hit his face for the first time in years, and he was just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks like it'll get me where I need to go. This is the life. And then, wow, all right, I just need a ride home. How about this will do? I mean, of all of the places, all of the vehicles that he probably could have seen to try to the, he picks that one. That's the one we pick. That's to the try one to he learn picked. how to drive. <laughs> that is not an easy vehicle to drive. No, but anyways, if you can manage to make it through the day without immediately stealing ten Corvettes after you've been released from prison, you're doing okay. Okay. All right. So, All right. hey, listen. If you have a loved one locked up right now, and maybe today is their release day, and, and you are their ride. Go go pick them up. I was going to say, don't don't forget because yes. we don't want an Isaiah situation here. Okay, no, he just felt like he, you know, there wasn't another answer, wasn't another way, mm-hmm. and right. this is not the way to do it. Yep, that is your setting the bar story.